Hi, I'm James. I'm partially deaf. I'm also a gamer. I interchangeably use he, him, he, they, and I am a senior business architect. And towards the later years of schooling, uh, I had no idea what I want to do. I still don't, uh, to some degree. I did know that I wanted to do a full-time education. I really wanted to do politics, but I wasn't that great at history. So my mom kind of gave me the advice. You can do politics, but you have to do uh, analytical scientific subject. Balance something you like with something that you're good at. Uh, so politics and economics uh, was my degree choice at the University of Leeds. Now I'm very happy that I did university, but more so in terms of what it gives you, soft skill, uh, life experiences. I did a year abroad in Hong Kong, for example, which had massively impacted the way I see the world. In school and university, I was like, oh no, I'm not going to deal with whatever question marks there are related to my sexuality. It was only when I went abroad to Hong Kong, uh, that classic story of going as far away from, as possible from her uh, and kind of finding yourself. Definitely from a younger age, when I was born partially deaf, you're always a bit different. You have to educate people on what being disabled, being partially deaf um, is, what it means. Just that initial snap, snap judgment that people make when they know an aspect of your identity. When I left university, I did have some questions relating to how will I deal with the transition. I initially wanted to look at opportunities that could allow me to continue to explore, definitely on a global scale. So I literally googled global graduate scheme and then Aviva came up with one of the options. In that interview process, I definitely got the feeling that Aviva was an inclusive uh, employer. For me personally, I talk about my disability as an in to gauging whether people are accepting of d and i I'm partially deaf, how would that impact my life at Viva? Um, I got good reassurances. Coming out at work has impacted just my behaviour, my mentality. If I looked at the first five months of, of being scared to come out, you just waste so much mental effort and energy. Will I be seen as the gay one or the deaf one? However, these days, I just bring it up in everyday conversation. People can't shut me up about it. I would say that everybody has a journey that they have to go on. Regardless of how slow it is for you, just take your time. Don't feel pressured into anything. As corny as it sounds, you have one life to lead. Um, so ultimately, you have to do what's right for you.